can tell my mood is, I would say, elevated in the negative direction today. The author's brain has a lot of difficulty prioritizing and there's so much to do and it cannot differentiate between what is, uh, what is needed to be done now and what is needed to be done tomorrow. It's almost like uh, you go into a supermarket for the autist, right? And you, it's an absolute freak out because your brain is unable to shut off all the information and you just have non-stop, just imagine 20 videos on a good day at once playing and each one is screaming at you, get this, get that, get this, get this, oh, hold on, he doesn't like that, oh, yeah, what do, what do women like, hold on, all these people are looking at me, no, they're not, I'm being paranoid, yeah, but they used to abuse me as kids, so some of them must have been looking at me, they couldn't have been abusing me by accident, uh, but then it wasn't their fault, you know, I mean, it's just constant, constant noise, um, what do I get now, shopping, no, no, I have to run back to my room, and so the natural reaction is to go back to your, your safe space, um, obviously, like I said in one of my first videos, that I face what I fear, and that has, of course, a little bit of that in your life would be a good thing, because the problem, the, the thing to notice, uh, autists, about fear is that if you don't face it, it actually keeps coming for you, but if you face it, it runs away. So it's, a, it's, it's always a dynamic relationship. It is never static. It's not like you cross a border. What will happen is over time that your safe space will shrink to the point that you won't be able to move. And I know about that. 